people you guys are welcome back um thank you for all your comments your subscribes and and all that if you're here to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to do that uh, in today's edition i want to show us how to how to make a tie collar and to make a tie collar it's not something that is very difficult um the first thing you do is um, after getting your round neck measurement <coughs> this material is too busy i don't know maybe if you guys are seeing clearly after getting your round neck measurement like this in this case now i'm using a um what is it called 16 inches the round neck measurement is 16 inches so after getting the round neck measurement like this this center part that is this center front you are going to come down by um five inches so that the head will be able to go through the place that is this neckline you know if you leave it like this without opening this front you won't be able to wear it so you're going to come down by five inches so you're coming down by five inches like this the material is just too busy so then you open the front like this so by the time you open the front, uh, the front like this so i believe you can see at the end of the day something like this you'll be able to wear it your head will be able to go through so now if you like this place now you can decide to just cut facing in the sun you cut facing and turn it inside then if you like you can decide to just give it a small round curve so that you'll be able to pipe with bias like this you give it a round curve like this you give it a round curve like this so that you'll be able to use bias to pipe it round so after then after we might have achieved this get your round um get your round neck measurement which i said i have eight inches here so now the tight collar just i don't think that uh that doesn't have a standard length measurement you can decide to just make it as long as you want it make it as long as you want it but just Make sure it's reasonable you understand so maybe this now is 24 inches that is folded into 24 inches which is 48 then the side you can decide to make it 50 which is 25 depends on your length your choice of length so and these other edges you can decide to give it any kind of shape you understand you can decide to leave it straight but if you look at this one from this mid part to this uh, this part here is wider than this place you understand but it's always fine now when it's like this but you can still decide to just make it equal straight like this if you like you can go maybe one side slanted and you come this way just you can just give it any kind of shape at this uh, end part right from the both side so this is it This is it. So after when you fold into two like this, so now you are going to get your round neck measurement from here, which I said I have eight inches. So you are going to notch that eight inches. So from here now, I am going to sew like this, then up to this place the same thing from here up to this place so let me show you how it will look like now this is the neck uh, that, that piping part this is it so if you like you can use cutting bias you understand you just you know cutting bias is something like this it's folded in this way so you just put it just put it like this Hold it on it 
then you sew it wrong because if you say you want to do it this way you sew then you come and turn it might not be as neat as you want it so it is advisable you do it this way just put this like this at the middle fold on it and then you sew around So this is it after piping this is it so by the time you iron it very well it will lock down very well so this is that tight color just like i said after when i sew it up to that place i notch the other time this place you can see then this other side too see the way it comes out so you turn it the other way you turn it out then you iron you iron it and make sure you fold this place that you did not sew make sure you fold them like this on each other you understand make sure you fold it on each other and make sure that one part is a bit longer than the other one just like this just like this because when as you're putting it you're sewing just once and if you make it in a situation where you make it equal if you're sewing you might not be able to catch this under one you understand your machine might not be able to sew on it so it is better you make it a little bit longer like this so when you're sewing on this one it will be holding down the uh the one under it so this is it how this is clear it's not something that is difficult when you sew it up to that place you understand how you fold this place so now starting from here this is it that is the neck all you need to do is just put it like this in between like this just the same way we did uh, we did this piping just now so just do it this way put it and so on it in this situation now you know you will not be turning around Maybe you sew this part and you turn again to come and sew this part. No, just once and you just sew it round. So after joining, this is it. After when you sew it round like that, this is it. This is it up to this place, and this is the inner part. You understand? So now our tight collar is ready. So it now depends on how you want to tie it now. You can tie it to form a bow, guys. If you really know how to do it, I don't know how to do that though. But this is just the idea. This is just the idea. So you can decide to tie it to form whatever you want to form. Just like I said, I don't really know how to tie a bow. But that's that so imagine where you make this uh this rope longer than this so the more it will come down the longer it is the more it will come down so that is the idea it's not something that is hard it's not difficult understand so this is how you make your your tie collar very easy thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time